let's look at this previous problem from uh, rotation again it says a disk of mass m so remember it's a disk of mass m and radius r so there's there's your disk of mass m and radius r is rolling with angular speed omega so it's rolling it's rolling with angular speed omega right on a horizontal plane this, this ox is your horizontal plane as shown you need to find the magnitude of angular momentum about o about this point o you need to find what is the mag angular momentum right this is the case what case is this this is the case of combined translation plus rotation right so your body here is rotating and also moving ahead because it's given that it's rolling rolling itself means it's pure translation it's combined translational plus uh, plus rotational now the moment the word rolling is given you have to understand you have to take the case of pure rolling you won't take the case of slipping or something but you'll take the case of pure rolling even if they don't mention it that means that means this bottom most point is at rest with respect to the surface when can that happen that can happen only when your r is equal r omega is equals to v the v with which it is moving if it's moving with some v v then that v has to be r omega only then this bottom most point will be at rest right uh, because the ground is at rest if the ground was moving with some v v dash then v minus r omega should should be equal to v dash not zero right because your ground is at rest v minus r omega should be zero and then your bottom most point will be at rest that's the case of pure rolling right so how do i find the moment of inertia of a body uh, sorry how do i find the angular momentum of a body which is rotating and moving about some external point that is the question so for that we'll use this expression uh, l is nothing but l of center of mass plus l vectors obviously about center of mass let's look at how we can vectorially do it properly right so what is l of center of mass for l of center of mass forget that this is a disk imagine of imagine this as a point right imagine this as a point this point is at a distance r right moving with some velocity v having a mass m right now how do i find the angular momentum of this of this point about this uh, about origin you don't need to do anything mv is like this right so p will be which is your mv p will be like this so draw a line which is in the line of p this r perpendicular is what you need to take and this is nothing but your r like, like your radius right this is your radius so r you just need to take this r perpendicular and angular momentum is nothing but m r which is your r into mv right and what is the direction of this because because it's moving in this direction it's moving in this direction it has a tendency to rotate like this it's not rotating but i'm saying it's having a tendency to rotate like this so what you do is you take your right hand if it's having a tendency to rotate like this imagine it's having a tendency to rotate like this so you put your fingers like this angular momentum is inside right so this is your x axis y axis so angular momentum is about minus z axis so it's it's minus k i hope you have understood how you have to do it your fingers have to be along the tendency of direction of rotation and thumb will give you the direction of angular momentum only when you use your right hand so i've used i've used my right hand be careful about that so this is your r perpendicular so no matter if your if your if your if your point is here or even if it's here doesn't matter angular momentum's magnitude will be the same right because you'll draw the line and r perpendicular will be r it will always be at a distance r no matter where your point is on this line it the perpendicular distance will be r only and you need to take the perpendicular distance right this is done plus you need to find the angular momentum about center of mass now forget about this now come back to this now forget that your center of mass is moving because about center of mass is about about center of mass means you are standing on center of mass when you're standing on center of mass the only thing that you're seeing is that it, this that this body is rotating right you're not seeing it moving you're seeing it only as some sort of a rotation so if your body is rotating about this axis right if your body is rotating about this axis what is the moment of inertia i which is your mr square about this axis mr square by 2 because it's a disk right that's why because it's a disk and angular momentum about this axis is nothing but mr square by 2 angular momentum about center of mass i mean about this point is nothing but i into omega right i into omega so angular momentum about center of mass is i because your angular momentum now is only due to rotation right only due to rotation so mr square by 2 into omega 
What is the direction of this angular momentum? Once again, because your body is rotating like this, put your fingers along the direction of rotation and the thumb will give you the direction it will give you that it's going inside. That means this is also minus a minus k cap, right? This is also minus k cap. So both are along the same direction. You can simply add them. This is nothing but m into v into r plus this is nothing but m r square by 2 into omega. But here you also have a v which you don't want. How do you eliminate this v? That is why this pure rolling condition is given. Because if pure rolling is there, only then r omega will be v. So I can replace v with r omega. This is nothing but m into r square into omega. And this is nothing but m r square by 2 into omega. If they also ask you for the direction, it's minus k cap, right? But they only want the magnitude, right? They only want the magnitude. So this minus k cap will go and you just need the magnitude. It's nothing but 3 by 2 m r square omega. That's your third option.